Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys with this week's VNN video blog. Did you know that there's new research and it has shed light on how Lyme disease is spread? Now we know ticks transmit Lyme disease, but it now appears that these infections are flying the friendly skies. Now ticks have had a bad reputation, but for good reason. These tiny little bugs carry many serious and even deadly diseases for both our pets and us. We usually think of the tick as a problem of mammals, but these parasites are now found hitchhiking on birds. These little stowaways could be the reason why Lyme disease is continuing to spread. Now, this is new. Research has implicated robins and other common birds in spreading Lyme disease. These piggyback ticks can now drop unexpectedly right in your backyard. The organisms that cause Lyme disease are normally found in wild mice. Ticks feeding on these mice then carry the bacteria to other animals, including your pets. Any pet with exposure to ticks is at risk. Dogs with Lyme disease can show arthritis, and some can even have serious heart problems. And by the way, Lyme disease arthritis can be very severe. It might even be the first symptoms you see of your dog who has Lyme disease. Thankfully, we have several good options to prevent the spread of this disease. Now first, I recommend a daily brushing and combing of your pet, especially if you have a real problem with ticks in your area or if your dog goes with you hiking and camping. It's a simple and easy step that may very well help. But next, use a good tick preventive product. These products are applied topically. That means you put it right on their skin. They're easy to use, and now remember this. It's a real key point. They kill the ticks before they have a chance to transmit the Lyme disease bacteria. For even greater protection, vaccines are now available that help stop the disease before the bacteria even has a chance to infect your pet. Now, in some areas of the country, avoiding ticks might be hard to do, but together, we can keep your pet safe. Now, we have a blood test that tells us whether or not your pet has been exposed to Lyme disease. You may want to ask about that. And if you're concerned at all about any of this, please talk to your veterinarian. If it's after hours or they're not available, a reliable website you can go to is PetDocsOnCall.com. And follow me on Twitter at PetDocsOnCall. I'm Dr. Jim Humphreys. We'll see you next time.